What's up, diecast collectors? This is OBB, the diecast news guy, and you guys ready for a nice little road trip? Hopefully, because we're going to be going under the sea with this diecast, guys. For, and no, I did not take anything before this diecast review, guys, because I'm giving you guys hints of what this diecast is. And it's uh, it's uh, it's a good one, guys. My good buddy, Racy2011, is going to go ape shit over this car. I'm sure he's already singing uh, the, the the song of this diecast um, <laughs> uh, when, I'm, uh, when I'm uploading this review, guys. But it is on... Elio Castro Nevis 2020 Pennzoil um, Chevy Delara for Team Penske. Holy crap, guys. We got ourselves another Yellow Submarine diecast to be talking about, guys. And I don't know, guys. This probably might be the final time we might see Elio Castro Nevis drive the iconic Yellow Submarine scheme for Team Penske. All right, so that's a big hint right there, guys. As you guys know, I mean, Scott McLaughlin looks like he might be the guy that could take over Elio's ride for next year. I mean, that's the rumors I'm hearing. I mean, but Mr. Three Time it has one more shot to get that fourth Indy 500, guys. But, I mean, Elio, man, you got to love him. I mean, this guy, um, whether you know him from the IndyCar series or from Dancing with the Stars, I mean, that, I mean, everyone's got to know the IndyCar driver some way or another. This is a beautiful livery, guys. I mean, oh, my God. And one thing I am so excited that Greenlight finally did after all these years, the chrome suspension is finally back on the Penske 164s. Holla freaking Luya. I'm about to like, I'm about to be like happy right now, guys. Holy crap. I'm about to be as smiling as Elio is, guys. I mean, I, I absolutely love this packaging, guys. And as you guys know, I'm a pretty hardcore team Penske fan. Elio is definitely a favorite of mine as well. Um, I, I, I met all four of the, in, uh, all the Penske drivers before, guys. And one of them actually knows me by heart now. I mean, gotta love Simon. Holy crap, man. But I uh, can't wait to meet these guys in August if the, you know, if the Indy 500 is going to happen. But anyways, guys, without enough of me just jabbing on about team penske cars and drivers let's get on and crack open this yellow submarine die cast driven by mr three time elio castroneves all righty guys we got this beautiful yellow submarine car out of its box and before we get things started guys let's look at the little trading cars that comes with this i mean look at mr three time right there as you can see that's probably why elio drives a three well he's been driving the three for the for, for, for like i don't know like basically the majority of his, you know, indie cars uh, it, it, for the majority of his indie cars seasons, guys. So, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, unfortunately, this guy is not a champion and doesn't look like he will ever be indie car champion, which is a shame. I know my friend Rob is absolutely going to be punching me in the gut after saying that, but I mean, he's been close. Just Dixon always spot, somehow finds a way to always beat him out. <laughs> but here is, you know, all the stats. If you guys want to read all that, I mean, Elio is quite the driver, guys. Uh, of course, you know, he's pretty iconic for being on Dancing. With stars but more importantly than a freaking you know almost a reality contest show tv show whatever i mean what's on tv matters is indycar not the shit they have on abc no offense especially indy 500 win guys three indy 500 wins and i almost saw elio pull it off in 2017 guys uh, he was so close in 2014 with the right with rhr right hunter ray if you guys didn't know and then of course 2017 he was also very close as well but I'm hearing a lot of rumors, guys, that this cost possibly could be the final time we could see Elio Castroneves drive for Team Penske. I don't know if it'll be the final time he'll drive the Yellow Submarine car, guys. But if it is, then this is definitely one to definitely show off in the books, guys. And especially if Elio can pull it off and finally get that fourth win and be up there with all with all the other you know legends in in, in uh, at, 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 at at IMS being up there with Foyt and Unser, I mean, and Rick Mears. Definitely deserve it, especially being up there with Rick Mears, guys, because you guys know Rick Mears also drove the Yale Submarine car as well back in the day, so gotta love that, but I mean, this livery, guys, it's the same Penske design, kind of like how the scallop schemes are for NASCARs, but you can't go wrong with this, guys. I mean, just think of the, of the Menards car that Simon Patchell drives, but it's it's got this Pennzoil yellow. It looks so cool, man. It goes well with, you know, any Pennzoil die cast. I mean, preferably Indy cars, guys. This is probably the best looking Pennzoil livery that we got um, for, for a while, guys. I mean, this is like the fourth time we've had the Elio uh, Pennzoil uh, die cast be produced. We also had one in 2018, which I'm about to show the side side comparison. Um, as you can see, I mean, of course, the big difference right off the bat, as we do got a humongously, humongously bad paint chip right there. Um, yeah, that I. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that, that is uh, some 
pretty bad quality right there, but you know, I probably fixed that with a paint pen or something, but yikes, almost looks like a shark took out that tongue of that, <laughs> of that, it, it, it looks like, I don't know, so someone just took the tongue of the, uh, the, the I, I want to say tongue of the, of the wing, but yeah, um, my god, that's bad, but holy crap, man, just beautiful, you see right there, the placement of the logos are different, we also do get the updated IndyCar Series logo as well, the title sponsor logo, but the best part of this diecast is the chrome suspension, I mean, look how plain Jane of this card looks like without the chrome suspension and you know the last time we had this Elio car guys which was in 2019 we also had it uh one released in 2017 and another one released in 2014 with auto world that was probably the worst one we had but i think this is probably the second worst one we've had since you know, there's no chrome suspension the 2017 one had chrome suspension so i guess they finally um you know f found out that people like the chrome suspension i mean even though it's plastic it's a nice suspension, guys. I mean, uh, the Penske's are really cool, and plus, it goes well with the chrome rim rims as well. I mean, yeah, it is plastic, but I mean, very good, high quality detail you get right here, guys. I mean, you definitely get what you pay for, guys. Nine bucks are, are what these cars are priced for. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, and it'll be discounted at eight uh, if you know some people. <clears throat> Gut swear. But. But I think the best part of this diecast, guys, is that I think the Penske's are the only ones that have the names on the. Um, on the. Uh, arrow screen, guys. So that's pretty similar to you know what we've seen with nascar as well so that's pretty cool the indy car is implementing that as well i mean of course they're i mean i, I think it looks a lot more better guys because usually i my, my, my biggest gripe about these uh, aero screens was the front it didn't look too well but now that you know we can clearly see the driver's name there and it no, it gives a little more pizzazz it looks pretty uniform i do like that a lot I mean, definitely way more better looking than um, the 2018 one. And if you guys didn't know that the Team Penske logo is also on the, uh, on the, the uh, even for the 164 guys, for the 164s and the 118s, they've been doing this for quite a while now, guys. It's only for the Team Penske diecast because you guys know Team Penske is basically like the Mercedes of F1. They are just so dominant. They always win races. I mean, Christ, three of their drivers are Indy 500 champions. And I got to feel a new garden being now a two-time IndyCar Series champion. It's a shame he doesn't have Indy 500 win. But I think it's time with his time is coming soon. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely a must get for sure, guys. Um, as Elio would say, for sure. <laughs> I mean, if you guys love the Pens Oil diecast, uh, whether you're an IndyCar fan or an NASCAR fan, this will match well, guys. Even though it'll match well with the Logano diecast. Even if you don't like Logano, I mean, I, I love it when NASCARs and IndyCars match. I mean, that's something I love. Why do they like the Target cars so much? Uh, <laughs> it's a shame Target left IndyCar and NASCAR. Uh, but damn, though, at least we got the Pennzoil cars for now. I mean, who knows what the future is going to be with Elio and T. Penske. But regardless or not, guys, if Elio can pull it off, I mean, I got to be feeling he probably won't. But if he somehow turns it around and pulls it off, I tell you what, that is one good way to end a career. I mean, I'm not saying it's the end of his career. He's not hanging up the helmet like TK. But to leave Team Penske as a, as a four-time Indy 500 champion, that'd be pretty damn cool. I mean, he's the, he's the, so far, guys, Elio Kashnevis has been the only uh, current driver that has won back-to-back -back Indy 500s, all right? Only one. Nobody else, all right? So, <laughs> this guy's good. He's good. I mean, he is controversial. I mean, don't get me started about, you know, all the stuff that everyone has to talk about Elio. I mean, I'm being very positive in this review, guys. I don't like to spread rumors or anything like that, but this is a beautiful car. I definitely do recommend this, guys. But I wish there was more I could say about this, guys. But we are hoping that we are going to see this car probably run at the... Probably both Grand Prix IndyCar races uh, in Indianapolis. Because you guys know that, that they're running two races there. And, of course, the Indy 500 if he could race his way in. Because, you know, there could be a shot. A Penske car can't make it. I mean, that's why you love Bump Day. I mean, look what happened last year. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of the 2020 Yellow Submarine car. Driven by Elio Castroneves, Mr. Three Time. So... I don't know, guys. Let me comment below if you guys think that this guy will get in the record books if he pulls out that fourth. But I don't know, man. He's been close, but not close enough. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe. And I will catch you guys on some more IndyCar Diecast videos very soon. And NASCAR as well. <laughs>